Peter Semler. Siamo a seguire anche con Fuori Marco Cicchini, the upcoming bank in Tesla scandal in the US, on the Russian. Have you talked about it? Yeah, there are Russian ties. Have you talked about that? The Treasury and OSAC are talking about sanctions because of Moscow. Okay. Mi domanda perché da nostro risulta che l'ambasciata americana del Dipartimento di Stato ha chiamato, richiamato Carlo Messina di Inteso su Rosneft e sarebbe la violazione di tesori OFAC. Ma lei è il capo della sorveglianza della, eh, dei servizi no, italiani? No, sì, c'era, ma noi dobbiamo sorvegliare per la italiana per questi servizi pensassero fuori dei diritti costituzionali. Perché, perché in tese sembra ora è stata la banca di Putin, no? No, no falico, tutta la gente sanzionata. Um, I can do the question both in Italian and English. Uh, mia domanda per il senatore Orso and my question for um, uh, Congressman uh, La Hood, uh, Peter Sum with Capital Intelligence, um, CIA Ukraine. Uh, my question is about secondary sanctions. We're seeing sanction violations in Qatar, UAE, China, you know, companies that are, you know, Rosneft, for example, in Italy, they took uh, Bank Intesa, did the deal of, of, of um, selling a 20% stake of the Russian oil company to the Qataris uh, right after 214. We're seeing similar sanction breaking some by other European companies, you know, Caterpillar, but in UAE, Qatar. No, è sulla la, la, um, stazione secondaria, cosa farà Italia e gli Stati Uniti per evitare queste uh, attività e poi il beneficio maggiore sono in Cina. So it seems to be the biggest uh, uh, benefit, uh, the person, the country that benefits the most from sanction breaking is China, the Russian China. What would you do now and how can you work together as Italy's our closest ally, you know, NATO and closest ally on the Ukraine sanctions? Thank you. Italy has uh, you know, uh, provided support and is in line with what uh, its allies have decided regarding the sanctions uh, against Russia and is perfectly uh, integrated within this uh, package of sanctions. Sia quelli riferiti appunto al commercio e agli investimenti in Russia, le imprese italiane hanno di fatto lasciato la Russia. Both those regarding uh, enterprise, Italian enterprises operating in, in Russia. O ne stanno programmando via via l'uscita. And these enterprises have, you know, uh, is now, are now living in Russia and or are planning to do so in, in, in the near future. E ha provveduto al sequestro dei patrimoni degli investimenti degli oligarchi nel nostro paese. But at the same time has also uh, uh, been fast in uh, you know, take the, the, uh, all the possessions of Russian oligarchs in Italy. Credo che il patrimonio più importante in Gepi sia stato proprio sequestrato in Italia. And I think one of the biggest of these uh, huge possessions were uh, in fact uh, um, ha inoltre programmato l'uscita dal gas, dalla dipendenza del gas russo nei prossimi 18 mesi. Italy is also planning to leave uh, the, uh, uh, his energy um, uh, relations with Russia uh, in 18 months from now. L'Italia importa il 40% del gas dalla Russia. But you have to bear in mind that Italy was uh, dependent for more of 40% on its energy needs from Russia. Ma già nel 13 gennaio di quest'anno il comitato che presiedo, con una relazione al Parlamento sulla sicurezza energetica, 40 giorni prima dell'invasione in Ucraina, chiedeva all'Italia di liberarsi dalla dipendenza dal gas russo. But even one month before Russian invasion of Ukraine, my committee was already presenting uh, the Italian Parliament with a document Uh, you know, uh, stressing the need to uh, diminish its reliance on Russia and its resources. Lo faremo, questo avrà un costo per il paese. There will be huge costs for Italy. Sarebbe opportuno che gli Stati Uniti si rendessero conto 
che agissero per ripartire in maniera equa i costi delle sanzioni. And so, for this reason, uh, I'm here to stress the need uh, for the U.S. to support Europe and European countries in their uh, endeavor to diminish their reliance on energy services, which is very difficult for them. Right? Okay, se, se ciò non dovesse accadere, se l'opinione pubblica italiana comprendesse che noi paghiamo un costo molto elevato, più elevato di qualunque altro paese, sarebbe difficile tenere il fronte in tempo. It would be very difficult uh, to maintain our current support uh, um, in, in, in the current situation if uh, our partners in Chinese are not uh, uh, helping us in doing so. Sulle sanzioni secondarie sulla Cina, ovviamente, come necessario dovrebbero essere prese, ma è un problema molto diverso. Uh, secondary sanctions, when, when it comes to China, are kind of different uh, problem, actually. China because China is everywhere, and is also very present in the United States, by the way. So isolating China uh, from an economic standpoint is very difficult. Aveva visto giù, giusto McCain quando si candidò la prima volta contro Obama. And I think uh, McCain was actually uh, very straightforward when he uh, first uh, you know, was running for presidency against Obama. Quando allora già proponeva l'alleanza dei popoli democratici anche attraverso un vaccino commerciale integrato tra l'Europa e l'Atlantico comune. When he was uh, suggesting the need to create a uh, uh, shared uh, trade you know, union uh, between uh, uh, the US and Europe, so from a transatlantic perspective. E che oggi fare. And I think this is what we are now first to do today. Maybe I'll comment on a specific question on, on as it relates to sanctions. Um, a couple things on that. We looked at this on the intelligence committee as you look at the conflict in Ukraine. Um, obviously, the implementation of the sanctions and the enforcement of the sanctions are vitally important uh, to, to the conflict. Um, and, and to your point, there are violations and there are deficiencies. And, and I think we're working to remedy those. If you look at um, the sanctions that we put in place against Iran, uh, and, and they were very, very successful. Now, it's a little bit different situation with, with Russia now, but there has to be consequences to the violation of the sanctions, and, and China has not felt those consequences in my view on that. Uh, and so, as we continue to observe and see how they do that, uh, I think uh, consequences from the administration are going to be important. Unfortunately, that's the only thing that China understands. Now, say what you want about, I'm not generally a fan of tariffs, but the tariffs that were implemented by President Trump got the attention of the Chinese, right? I, I'm not one who want to get into a trade war, but when you put consequences like tariffs in place, um, those have a real world effect on it. And similar to the sanctions enforcement mechanism, I think you have to have that. And I, you know, we'll see what happens with this administration on it. Um, as you might have seen earlier this week, um, Jake Sullivan, the National Security Advisor, met with his counterpart from China in a four and a half hour meeting and talked specifically about the violation of the sanctions. If there is not you know, proper uh, enforcement of that or follow up on that, I think there will be consequences. And the role that Congress can play on that, a lot of that is done by the administration, but I think we're ready and willing and able to, to get involved. Thank you. Yeah. Other questions from the audience? Yeah, exactly.